Hello everyone and welcome back to Destiny. We have finally got a date for the first of the Bungie reveal streams for Rise of Iron, and that date is this Wednesday, July 20th at 10am Pacific Standard Time. This reveal stream will of course be on their Twitch page live as usual, so I'll leave a link in the description so you can check that out on Wednesday. But of course, before we start talking too much about Year 3, let's take a look back at a weapon from Year 1, the fan-favorite auto-rifle, Shadow Price. Shadow Price is a legendary Vanguard auto-rifle from the vanilla release of Destiny. The sights on mine start with Red Dot ORS, Quick Draw IS, and Focus Lens FLS2, with the first perk of mine being Crowd Control. Next, I have a choice between Fitted Stock, Appended Magazine, and Rifled Barrel. And the final perk is Surrounded. Now, the Shadow Price is on the lower rate of fire, higher impact side of the spectrum, and it's important to keep in mind that this class of weapon got a huge buff in the last weapon update. As powerful as this weapon might have been in the original release, that fame was very short-lived, no thanks to the massive nerf that all auto rifles received shortly after release. So unfortunately, I missed out on the Shadow Price as well as most other auto rifles from Year 1. So, how's the weapon now? How does it stack up against other auto rifles? Well, I have to say that it's probably my favorite high-impact legendary auto rifle in the game. The gun sounds and feels really good to use, and it doesn't rely on stability perks to make it usable, which is a problem with a lot of current auto rifles. And really, because of that, you can take advantage of some fun perks. And speaking of which, the perks on mine, Crowd Control combined with Surrounded, feels really good. What makes a high impact auto rifle feel amazing? Increasing its impact even more. With the combination of these two perks, I'm always doing extra damage. And of course, these two effects definitely stack, which is great news, especially for PvE. But of course, PvE isn't the entire story, so how does this weapon stack up in the Crucible? Well, it turns out really well. Now, unfortunately, because the average player, myself included, doesn't often get the jump on multiple enemies at the same time, the perks on my weapon are a little wasted. But as I was starting to mention before, the best part about this gun is that you don't have to rely on any perks to make it usable. In fact, it's a fantastic weapon without the perks. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably know that one of my biggest pet peeves with exotic weapons are perks that simply make up for the weapon's shortcomings. And you don't have to worry about that with Shadow Price. So ultimately, Shadow Price is probably one of the best auto rifles you can get your hands on. So if you don't have one, I highly recommend seeking one out. Anyways, what do you think of the Shadow Price and what perks do you have? Leave them in the comments below. Drop a like if you can, and subscribe for more Destiny content. And I will see you all next time. But anyways, moving on to that exotic farming tip. It's something that I do now every time I hit the Glimmer Cap, just so I don't waste Glimmer. 